today, we'll continue to explore the world of the rich and wealthy. We'll trace through the multi-million dollar home of one of the highest paid actors, most successful entrepreneurs, and the people's champ himself, Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Welcome to Luxury Fountain. Don't forget to hit that like button, turn on that notification bell, and subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos. Dwayne Johnson earns $124 million in one year, making him the top actor Forbes had ever tracked. His estimated net worth as of 2020 is $220 million, and he earns roughly $20 million every film. Therefore, it makes sense that the professional wrestler turned actor spends a lot of money on a high-end lifestyle across the US. And it goes beyond that. Here is a glance at The Rock's empire and his path to turning millions into billions. The Rock purchases properties simply to sell them and thus has lived in some fantastic places over the years. A stunning property in Powder Springs, Georgia was his most recent real estate acquisition, and it only cost him $9.5 million. According to TMZ, he reportedly paid the full amount in cash. This French country estate has 46 acres of property, a riding arena, a 12-store barn, and even its own 1867-era renovated farmhouse. It has enough seclusion for the king and his entire family, which includes his spouse and three daughters, to temporarily escape the spotlight and cameras. It is surrounded by undulating hills and luscious fields, eight roomy bedrooms and six roomy bathrooms, along with three more half bathrooms, are located inside the main home. The mansion with its stone fireplaces and plenty of natural colors is the ideal illustration of luxurious rural living. It boasts a music room with a magnificent grand piano that we'd love to hear him play, along with many lounges, a quiet library, and other spaces. Johnson may access the lovely pool area with a jacuzzi and an outdoor eating area via the French doors in the back. Even an outside sitting area with another fireplace is present. Even before this Georgian farm, he already owns an unidentified farm in Virginia where he raises horses and maintains secluded hiking routes. Olympic horseback rider Will Coleman even trains thoroughbreds on actor's property. In early 2019, a photo of himself along with two of his horses was uploaded by Johnson on this secret Virginian property, with the caption of, The magnificent state of Virginia has quietly become his home. But the superstar isn't just a peaceful country guy. He owns homes all over the world, with Florida being one of his favorite states. Over the years, he has owned roughly 10 mansions in the state, the most of which cost between $1 to $3 million. However, he paid $3.4 million for his five-bedroom, seven-bathroom home in Southwest Ranches in 2012. The Johnsons can pass their time in the 13,000-square-foot Florida mansion's many extras, which include a home theater and a sizable pool with jacuzzi. It also contains sitting rooms that appear to have been created for royalty, an office, and a big master bathtub. There may also be a personal barbershop in the house, meaning the rock never actually needs to leave. However, we did mention that Johnson loves to purchase, refurbish, and sell. Only one year later, he sold the home for $3 million, but not before spending $1 million on upgrades that included building a professional at-home gym and a separate residence for his trainer. Johnson also owns another Florida residence that cost him roughly $4.5 million and is legally a ranch. Johnson purchased this house when it was still under construction. It features two three-car garages, five bedrooms, seven bathrooms, and a full outside kitchen so the Johnsons can have cookouts with their loved ones. Like his previous ranches, this one is rustic and natural with lots of wide rooms and high ceilings. It is also entirely fenced for privacy. 
The Rock, like any other celebrity, also needs somewhere to reside when he is working in Hollywood, which is why he spent five million dollars on this Hidden Hills house. It boasts a lavish outdoor area, ideal for gatherings, and The Rock's renowned professional gym. The Hidden Hills estate is likely his most opulent residence. This is what comes to mind when thinking of celebrity mansions, complete with high ceilings and white pillars. The home boasts a massive master bedroom suite with a huge bathroom. There are roomy garages and there is another cookout area in the back since The Rock seems to enjoy outdoor cooking rather than inside the house. The pool is a must-have amenity on every property of Johnson. This one is close to his back door and has a jacuzzi as well. The huge home theater, which even has the appearance of an upgraded version of a traditional movie theater, is another feature of the estate. The Rock ultimately sold this home in 2012 for the same amount he bought it for. But according to sources, he also owns a few condos and a villa in another part of California, just in case he gets notified by Hollywood to work on another project. The Rock makes sure he lives luxuriously even abroad. When Hobbs and Shaw was being filmed, he resided in this London house and had a sizable pop-up gym which he refers to as the Iron Paradise constructed there. He's taken the Iron Paradise to other cities such as Vancouver, where he recorded himself admiring the city from a lavish condo. Johnson shared a photo of himself riding Rusty, a famous horse who has been in both Gladiator and Robin Hood at the London property. It also had nine bedrooms, a cinema, two swimming pools, the tennis court on the side, two pools, one indoor, one outdoor, helped The Rock stay in shape. But the celebrity needed more, so he built his Iron Paradise gym in the expansive gardens at the back of the house. It is perfectly positioned for The Rock to get to his early morning workout, which begins at 5 a.m. and houses 40,000 pounds of professional equipment. Therefore, despite the fact that these residences appear to be retreats for the actor, he has demonstrated that a functional home is far more important to him than one that is merely attractive. The Rock has invested around $100 million of his riches in properties in total, although obviously not all of it goes to real estate. He spends a lot of time decorating the homes, including piling up expensive cars in the drives and garages. You might remember when Johnson showed up to the premiere of Ballers in a custom-made Pagani Huayra. The regular Pagani clocks in at around a million dollars, and only a hundred exist on the entire planet. Talk about making a fashionable entrance. The actor also owns a lot of personal luxury vehicles, including a two-door Rolls-Royce RAV, which retails for almost $400,000. And while filming Pain and Gain, The Rock was spotted cruising around in a purple metallic Plymouth Prowler. The cool car costs about $38,000. Johnson also briefly owned a matte white LaFerrari that he received a complimentary lease on, but soon found out that he couldn't actually fit inside the car. This beauty costs roughly $2 million at retail. The Rock prefers a very common truck to anything that might be considered a fancy car. We assume it's because he doesn't have any trouble squeezing into this huge vehicle, an F-150 custom-built pickup to be exact. Although the truck only costs around $35,000, The Rock undoubtedly spent an additional $3,000 on upgrades. However, when it comes to international travel, the superstar flies on a luxurious Gulfstream G650 aircraft. He frequently takes his family on flights with a plane. Uncertainty surrounds Johnson's ownership of the aircraft, which can cost up to $65 million, or whether he merely rents it. The Rock also adores Rolexes when it comes to splurging his money. When he was still a wrestler, he spent $35,000 on his very first Rolex watch, and the rest followed. He now has amassed a sizable collection of expensive timepieces, but it's possible that The Rock spends more money on food than on accessories. The actor regularly partakes in carb-up nights where he eats as much as possible to aid with weight gain. 
Pancakes are a particular favorite of his. Johnson also pays many personal trainers to be in top form. Aaron Williamson was one of them as of 2016, and his programs cost between $100 and $250 per month. Even though he makes a clean $2 million per episode of his show Ballers on HBO, he also runs a number of other businesses to support his high-end way of living. Since 2012, he has co-run Seven Bucks Productions with his ex-wife Danny Garcia. Through it, they have created television shows and motion pictures such as Ballers and Jumanji Welcome to the Jungle. When Johnson's football career ended, he flew from Canada to Miami and discovered only $7 in his pockets. For this reason, the company is named Seven Bucks. Johnson also has a lucrative Under Armour label called Project Rock that sells clothing, shoes, and headphones because he is known for spending a lot of time at the gym. He is thought to make seven figures in royalties from his different clothing lines each year. The professional wrestler started the Dwayne Johnson Rock Foundation, a nonprofit that aids children with terminal illnesses, in 2006, which is one of our favorite things about him, despite his big athletic figure. He's incredibly sweet and genuine. Throughout his vocation, he has visited many sick children, and he also looks after for his family. He claims to have purchased his father a sizable home in addition to numerous trucks. Johnson is therefore not only improving the lives of his family, but also the world at large with his money. He truly makes the world a better place. Which of The Rock's numerous mansions is your favorite? Would you want to drive one of his cars the way he drove in Fast and the Furious? Post your thoughts and comments in the section below. We'd love to hear from you. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe to Luxury Fountain if you liked the video. We're hoping to see you in our future video.